Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing all about sleep apnea. Sleep apnea, as the name rightly suggests, is a sleep disorder. But mind you, it's a very, very complex issue that demands a lot of deep understanding. And thus, we will be talking all about and diving deep into topics like what sleep apnea actually is, what are the probable causes and symptoms, also be talking about some treatment options so that you can empower yourself with knowledge to deal with this sleep disorder effectively. As a lot of you might have already guessed from this introduction, this is a very vast topic and it requires some comprehensive understanding. And thus, I have made this into a series of uh, three videos. It's going to be like a three episode series, wherein this one being the first part, of course, is where we talk all about what sleep apnea is, what are the types and the causes. Feel free if you want to skip to the next part, which talks about uh, what the symptoms and the presentations are and how to diagnose it. You can just click on this link right here. And the third and last part of this series will be talking about treatment options. If you want to directly move on to that part, then click on this link right here. But before we dive into this journey and embark on this journey together to know more about sleep apnea, let me take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Upasna Gosalia, founder and head dental surgeon at iSmile Dental Clinic in Mumbai. My channel is dedicated to addressing a lot of common health issues that so many of us have so that we can each be the best healthy versions of ourselves. So please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates and notifications. And to all my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you for sending me so much love. It really helps and encourages me to make more content for you guys. So let's dive in and let's get started. There are basically two types of sleep apnea, obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. But for the purpose of these videos in this series, we will only be talking about obstructive sleep apnea because that is the more prevalent one. So sleep apnea is a sleep disorder which is characterized by interruptions in breathing while a person is asleep. This happens when the muscles at the back of your throat and neck relax excessively causing your airway to narrow or sometimes even temporarily close, causing and leading to brief episodes of apnea. Apnea which literally translates to pauses in breathing or stopping in breathing. What happens here is when a person is awake, the muscles at the back of your throat and neck are active in an active phase basically and this will keep your airway patent. What I'm trying to say is that it will maintain patency of air from your nose into your lungs so that you can breathe normally. What happens in patients with sleep apnea is when they are in a lying down or resting position, these muscles relax excessively and this excessive relaxation causes the airway passage to narrow down or sometimes even obliterate completely. And the patency of air from your nose into the lungs gets affected for short periods of time and lead, this leads to episodes of apnea or stopping in breathing. When an episode of apnea occurs, the brain immediately gets triggered and sends a signal to awaken the person. And once the person is awakened from sleep, these muscles get activated again. Your breathing continues normally until the next episode of apnea comes in. But mind you, these episodes can occur over and over again or multiples of times throughout the night, which will prevent a person from getting a deep restful sleep at night. Also, if left untreated, sleep apnea has been linked to a lot of other medical conditions and complicated things like it can increase your chances for a stroke, high blood pressure and even diabetes. So do not take sleep apnea lightly. If you feel you have it, talk to your healthcare practitioner about it. Hear out this entire series and I'm going to be talking more about how you can help diagnose yourself if you have sleep apnea or not. Now coming to the next segment of this video, which is causes of sleep apnea, what the probable causes could be like. The first and foremost is obesity. Excessive weight gain around your neck will predispose an individual to sleep apnea because this excessive weight all around causes further restriction and narrowing of your airway, which obviously can increase your chances for sleep apnea. Secondly is anatomically narrowed airway. So this could happen if you have like a large tongue, or you could have enlarged tonsils or maybe an enlarged uvula. One or more combined together can lead to increased susceptibility to blockage of your airway when you're lying down, thus increasing the chances of sleep apnea for you. Third is age. As a person ages, we tend to lose muscle tone. 
and when muscle tone is lost these muscles can fall back our oral throat muscles can fall back further blocking and narrowing the airway thus increasing the chances for an airway collapse during sleep fourth is family history there are some genetic factors which run in the family which have been linked to sleep apnea so these factors if present in your genes will increase your susceptibility to sleep apnea then those individuals who do not have these genetic factors running in their family another thing is chronic nasal congestion which will obstruct the airflow and free airflow between your nose to lungs and again this will make you more prone to sleep apnea and lastly smoking alcoholism and even taking recreational drugs has all been linked to sleep apnea so that's it this brings us to the end of the first episode of our three episode series on sleep apnea the next few episodes like i said earlier are going to be talking about diagnosis the probable symptoms and presentations and also some treatment options so stay tuned watch the next few episodes as well please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with somebody who might find it useful and do subscribe for more such valuable insights on general health remember that an informed decision can lead to better sleep and a better quality of life so like i say always stay healthy sleep well and keep smiling